Okay, hi guys. Now what you're trying to do here is uh, trying to create a way where we can use import. We can import an Excel file and uh, probably rather than just adding a new student and adding one in a uh, one each, you can have an Excel file that has student names uh, uh, with all the parameters that we need and uh, it, it automatically enters here. Uh, at now we'll use an import export uh, excel package which we will install but first let's create an excel file with all the parameters in the model so we'll create a new one okay good just pin this here so what we do we look at our our model so our model has program This is very important because this will be used expressly by Excel uh, by Django to check if they are completely the same. So let me just even copy paste. Okay. Copy this. Paste it here. Copy this. Paste it here. Copy this, paste it here. Okay, copy this, paste it here. And finally, completion here, copy this and uh, paste it there. Okay, now we have all the parameters that are required in this. So what we want to do next, let's just uh, fill a couple of things here. Mm. So okay, let's just fill a couple of these things. I'll uh, just add uh, things that are not uh, like real for the purpose of just this video. Let's just add uh, five things on this list up to there. Uh, female. That enrollment year 2010. And remember, we have to have uh, we have to have numbers for this because we specified. If we check here, we'll have character fields, integer fields, character, character, integer. So we make sure these are character and integer fields. Name, I'll just write C D E F G. H for number I'll have anything. Remember for number we give it um, a field that is text. So we'll uh, make sure this is a text field and uh, we'll do that by just having let's just write text here. Then we can have maybe phone numbers here. Sorry. We just have this then we'll change it to text. I just have numbers. And then we'll just come here. Change this to text, 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 not text here. So we go down. Yeah, this text. And then email, we'll have anything. Email field. Year of completion, we'll just have 2014. 2015 okay and let's uh, save this in our desktop and we'll name it new data save this and uh, let's now work on the other side okay so we have the new data we're done with this. Uh, now let's uh, add uh, just this out. Right click, new uh, command prompt. When you now we're going to install this thing called import export. 
and I will import it like this. Sorry, pip install Django dash import dash x port enter. Okay, requirement already satisfied, blah, blah, blah. I already installed, so we are good. Then we are going to go to the settings.py. We are going to add it here. You add it like this. Uh -huh. Im import underscore x port comma all this should be inside that import export perfect save this go to the models uh, good settings is good now because we want this to act on the admin panel the admin panel to be to be involved we have to change a couple of things on the admin.py so we had imported uh, models uh, that is good then we use admin to register the students so for this one let's uh, comment this out so how we do this in uh, with this new import export we add a couple of things here so we'll go from import export admin import import export model admin okay so we've imported that no this is the one that is supposed to be capital small this one is a little bit different it has a dash export admin i think uh, this is another one here okay from import export admin yeah from import export admin let's say do, yeah it's dot admin because it's taking from this import export that we have installed in this uh, in the settings.py it takes their admin and then it uses the import export model admin okay now what we want to do is this but the way to do it uh, with this new new installed package we go at admin so at admin just like this one but no site dot register into bracket student then after that we need to create a class here i'll just uh, paste it here and the class looks like this yeah, so it's view admin uh, uh, taking this for uh, from import model import export model inheriting from this says pass okay save this save this go back sorry go back here okay run the server again if you see there's any problem okay line one models.py from django import models expect indent or oh, maybe i have messed up uh, here this one i put that by mistake but in us there will be no no such error it runs perfectly so when we go here now to the admin and refresh this this to come up import export and how it works uh, we can import this choose a file uh, go to our desktop choose new data open it's an xlx file which is basically an excel file then you submit when it looks this green it is working perfectly confirm import perfect so 
uh, when you go back here to the students, you can see the students have been added here. And now, rather than creating, uh, having to create students on yourself, you can just have the student list that has been created. You add it here. Then your role will be just to add new students who come to the office to ask to be added. Uh, the number of students have increased. The number of courses have increased. Uh, it looks nice. And uh, that is how it is. And after uh, and for the maintenance purposes, all you have to do is make sure you export this data as an XLX. X submit. It imports it when you open it. You can see it here. It also also asks the adds the IDs for you. But the information inside here is what is important. We have all this. And now when you import it like this, all you have to do is make sure you always import it so that if uh, there's any problem, you can just come delete this. And uh, after you delete that, I'm not sure where it has been saved. Let me just check. Here, downloads. Okay, show in folder. It's in the downloads. So when there's any problem with this, you can come. Action. Uh, you can just select all of them. Perfect. Then you can delete them. Yes. And then you can import. Choose file. Downloads this file. Open XLSX. Submit. Looks good. Before we do that, let's just uh, go here and see that there are zero students, zero courses. Confirm. Go back here. Refresh. It's back to what it was. Okay, and that's how you use the import export uh, package to be able to add students because uh, if the students are being uh, there's a, a link that has been sent to them or or the class reps are adding the the list of all their classes uh, asking them if you don't see your name make sure you you add your name and you have a full list uh, from all the classes that you need you add the list together you make sure the formatting is correct because if the formatting is wrong uh, we can uh, just edit this make this number or yeah if we do that or we change anything here to something that it's not uh, let's just mean uh, and do that I'd make this an, a number uh, uh, text save this go back here uh, let's go to the admin panel When we try to add this when the, f the formatting is not completely correct, import, choose file, select this, XLSX, submit. I haven't saved this. Let me just save this, close it, go back, go back, reselect it. Here, XLSX, submit. Okay, it's uh, it's just taking this and making sure it's it's uh, it is has this extra functionality where it has made sure that these are uh, are fine. But if you have some minor problems where uh, probably you have uh, these phone numbers as actual numbers, uh, which you can uh, let's just change that and you can see. If you have this as actual digits like one, double click this and uh, let's make sure it realizes them as numbers. 
this uh, uh, most of the time it brings a problem saying that this uh, field in the models is as uh, is a certain way and you are giving us information in a certain way so let's see if it's working because if it looks green like this it's working perfectly so i'm trying to confuse it a little bit for the purpose of you understanding okay the functionality is working perfectly for all of them okay yeah so, uh, the main reason i wanted to do this though is it has not uh, its functionality is uh, up to par to what i'm trying to do it it usually uh, throws in an error if the information here is not up to par to the models if we have these models and maybe uh, this one was not true and we have a blank space maybe here it will just tell you ah there's a problem with the data uh, and that's why we need to have the most accurate form of information it's supposed to be so and with that we have uh, understood how to add this information to the admin panel uh, using uh, through excel and uh, also we know how to add this uh, manually but using excel is better because you can add a lot a lot a lot of information and uh, it's this one is shaping up very nicely i think and now we are going to see if this site is been has been deployed anyone and everyone right now can add information in the admin panel anyone can come to the admin panel admin and then they can find their information here they can add the information here they can delete information here and we don't want that we want students just to view we want students just to see this only and uh, search themselves but they cannot actually access this part of adding new students or the dashboard in general and uh, that's how where user registration comes in and creating a login logout system to make this web app now complete uh, in the next one, we're going to talk about that. Thank you very much for watching this. Hope it was informative. See you in the next one.